Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome back to some more LS PDFR. Today, we're still going to be uh, using the Los Santos County Sheriff's Department. I enjoy kind of sticking to one area for a couple of episodes, and then I'll go back to City Patrol, and then we'll do some Highway Patrol, all that sort of stuff. So I generally like to stick to the county for a couple, and then, well, you know, we'll kind of move around a little bit. So in the meantime, as always, I like to uh, start my patrols with uh, plate checks, taking our normal patrol calls. If anything comes over the radio from dispatch, then we'll, we'll respond accordingly. Suspect's license plate, 44 four, Ocean, Adam, John, 761, proceed with caution. So it looks like this vehicle ahead of us is coming up as having no insurance here, so... We'll see if we can find a safe place to go ahead and uh, to pull this guy over. We'll just do a uh, quick traffic stop here and uh, talk to him about not having any insurance on his vehicle. All right, this is a good spot to go ahead and light him up. Do me a favor and pull up all the way over on the far right-hand side of the road for me, please. All the way up, right-hand side. Keep going. Keep going. That should be perfect right there. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, go talk to this driver. Looks like we got a brown minivan here. How's it going today, sir? Mike with the Sheriff's Department. Uh, the reason I pulled you over is I went ahead and ran your plates back there and you were coming up as having no insurance. Uh, you do have to have insurance when operating a vehicle. Um, so uh, if you can provide me with some ID, I'd appreciate it. And if you do have insurance, uh, go ahead and show that to me now. All right, Mr. Leo, hang tight for me. All right, we're gonna go ahead and come back here and run, uh, run his ID real quick. For a Chi Leo. So everything's good, everything's coming back, is okay. Oh my gosh. What is he doing? What is this guy doing? No, no, stop, stop. Alright, dispatch. Uh we're uh in pursuit of this guy. He just Okay. Uh head northbound on US one. He just got hit. Hey, come here. Oh, and he just tripped. Stop right there. Stop. Stop. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground, Mr. Leo. I do not want to have to shoot you. Alright, dispatch. We got one, uh... Chi Leo in custody. We literally just performed a traffic stop on him. And, um... We're literally just gonna let him go with a warning and he decides to try and run from us. And, and uh, his warning now just turned into a felony of evading police, so... All right, Mr. Leo, come on over this way for me. I need you to get back in my squad car. We're going to go ahead and take him off the jail. I don't know what the heck that was all about. That was a simple traffic stop that just turned bad for him. He was just going to get a simple warning. No idea why you decided to run from me today, uh, Mr. Leo, but you're now going to jail for uh, evading police and trying to run away from me. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take him into jail ourselves because there's a jail actually just up the road here. No idea what possessed you. Uh, I just ran a red light. No idea what possessed you to decide to run like that, uh, Mr. Leo, uh, but just know that uh, you're now gonna go to jail. I was literally just gonna give you a warning for not having any insurance, man. I was feeling pretty, uh, pretty good today. Come on, what are you doing? No blinker, appreciate that. You're lucky that I've got a... Uh, somebody I gotta take to the jail up here. So at any rate, uh, Mr. Leo, as I was saying, um, I was just gonna give you a warning and then now you decided to evade police, so now you're going to jail. On, uh, Great Ocean Highway. Alright, where's the jail at? Looks like it's in this parking spot right here. We're gonna go ahead and take him in ourselves. All right, Mr. Leo, follow me down to the jail cells. You know, you can never do enough ab work. 
don't give a shit. Apologize, dumbass. All right, oh, come on in here. So sorry. Thank you, sir. A simple warning for no insurance turned into an a felony evading police, and you're going to jail. Attention all units, citizens report a civilian in need of assistance in La Mesa. We'll go ahead and let other officers take that one since we're still uh, finishing up with this call here. Copy that. Rover 6 on our way. Roger that. All right, so they got another uh, officer to go ahead and take that call. So, yeah, uh, Mr. Chi Leo went ahead and went to jail. Simple. That just goes to show you right there that simple traffic stops are never, never as they seem. <laughs> you always have to be on your guard. You always have to uh, take everything very serious. And you got this person here. That was walking on a green light here, just eating her pizza, not even paying attention. I'm picking up uh, some radio chatter uh, from dispatch saying there's a motorcycle rider in the area without a helmet, but we're not getting dispatched out to that, so. Looking like a pretty good day out here in the county, though. Um, everything's been pretty nice. I mean, we had one traffic stop that turned into a small little bit of a foot pursuit there but luckily he didn't get too far so he's going to go to jail for that in the meantime the calls have been uh pretty mild in here today go ahead and uh, patrol these streets here make sure everything's uh looking pretty good for the most part everybody's just out enjoying the sun we've been getting a lot of rain and uh, getting a lot of downpour and stuff here, so. Oh, I was going to make a turn there. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, whoa. What is that guy doing? Wait, what is that guy doing? This guy is swerving all over the road here. This guy is all over the road here. Let's go ahead and uh, pull this guy over. I wonder if he's been drinking. Do me a favor, pull up a little bit further on the right side by the fire hydrant up there for me. Right by the fire hydrant. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and run this plate real quick. Dispatch, go ahead and show me on a patrol stop. Looks like on a black Rebel pickup truck. Possible drunk driver DUI. Target license plate. 85 Henry Adam Frank 131. One. Proceed with caution. So they're coming up as having no insurance as well, but that's not really what I care about right now. Uh, they were weaving all over the road, possibly drunk, so we're going to go ahead and make contact with the driver. How's it going today, sir? Mike with the Sheriff's Department. Uh, the reason I pulled Joe today is because I noticed you swerving and weaving all over the road back there. Um, hey. So I went ahead and pulled Joe over. You got some ID Get for me? Long. All right, thank you, Mr. Savage. Go ahead and hang tight real quick. So we have a Braden Savage here. Let's go ahead and run uh, his ID here. See if anything comes back. He is, in fact, wanted by the LSPD. All right, so now we're going to completely change how we're handling this call here. We're going to go ahead and draw our weapon and uh, get ourselves a, a Code 2 unit out here. We've got an officer in need of assistance in uh, Palato Bay. Units respond Code 2. Acknowledge. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get a Code 2 unit out here to assist us with this felony stop. Because he is, in fact, wanted. And I don't know what he's capable of. He was coming, swerving all over the road. So here's our uh, Code 2 unit. Okay. Are they stopping? Yes, they are. All right, sir. Go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me. Looks like we're going to have to do this the hard. On the ground for me, sir. On the ground. My Code 2 unit just randomly just took off and didn't even stop to assist me. Appreciate that. All right, dispatch. We have uh, one in custody. We have the Braden Savage that came back as wanted. All right, Mr. Savage, uh, come on over here for me. 
not exactly sure what you're wanted for, um, but I pulled you over originally uh, for the uh, swerving in the road. So I'm going to go ahead and search you real quick. Make sure you don't have anything illegal on you. Nothing of interest. And then I'm also going to go ahead and uh, uh, breathalyze you because that was the whole reason I pulled you over. So he is, in fact, blowing at 1.12 uh, pro miles. So... All right. Crazy. So he is in fact going to go to jail for a uh, for a DUI, and he's in fact wanted by the uh, the LSPD anyway. So let's go ahead and get a prisoner transport over here picked up, Assistance required or to pick him up. Placed under arrest. Let's go ahead and search his vehicle. We copy you on standby. Roger. All right, Mr. Savage, you are uh, going to be going to jail today, sir, uh, for a. Uh, DUI, and you're uh, you're wanted by the LSPD. So go ahead and get in back of the patrol car until your prisoner transport arrives. Car, nice and slow. All right, let's go ahead and search the rest of his vehicle here. Hi. Looks like his prisoner transport just arrived. So he's going to be going to jail for a uh, DUI. I'm not finding anything in his vehicle that we need to be concerned about. So we'll go ahead and check the uh, the tailgate here. I don't see anything back there. Yep, nothing of interest, so let's go ahead and get this thing, uh... Bye. Let's get this thing impounded. Go oh, tow truck's here. Go ahead and pick up this vehicle. And Mr. Savage is going to jail for a uh, DUI. And in fact, being wanted by the LSPD, so... That should uh, wrap up and conclude our next patrol. That one's actually uh, a pretty routine traffic stop right there, guys. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys are still enjoying this series. Let me know in the comments below. And if I'm not mistaken, I do believe this was, in fact, our 40th episode of our LSPDFR Patrol series. So we're uh, not doing too bad. We're just plugging away here, guys. So thank you guys for watching again. We'll see you for the next patrol.